Hello everyone, this is Linda. I wanted to um, give you all a walk through my garden today, uh, but the wind was blowing so hard until, nope, I couldn't do it. It just wouldn't let me. But listen, if this is your first time here, I want to thank you for stopping by. I wish you would consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are returning, yeah, I want to thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. Yeah. It is so cold out here today. Yeah. There has been no sun. No sun. For a couple of days, there have been no sun. It's just dreary and cold right now it's like uh, 42 degrees outside yeah it's about two o'clock in the evening and yeah it's just too cold to to be out there and it's just uh, windy too so yeah the wind kind of really muzzled the whole entire video so but anyway guys i'm gonna be throwing up some pictures of my flowers that I grew in the garden last spring. Listen, I have many, many pictures of uh, my garden from past years. But this is some confetti that I received from Chanel H. She sent me a gift. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use this confetti for the birds for their nesting material. Yeah, it's very nice and you can use it for that. So I just stuck that up there. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work out for them. I'm more than sure it will though. I think so. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's just a cold day. So I'm going to be throwing up some pictures, as I said. And these pictures is from last spring. Yeah. And uh, I hope you all enjoy them while we walk around in this very cold garden. <laughs> yeah, but all is very, very nice. I did drop some seeds there and yep, they are coming up. Even as cold as it is, some of them are coming up. I didn't put a lot of seeds. I didn't drop a lot of seeds, just a couple of them in there. Yeah. But um, these flowers here, my God, they are just, uh, they just don't die. <laughs> but here are my cauliflowers and they are really doing well. Yeah, I have a, maybe six or seven of them in the garden. Yeah, they're doing really, really well. Yeah. They're doing good. <laughs> but I hope that you all are having a wonderful day here today. Um, I wanted to show you all some of the things that I'm making for my garden. And I'm making it with materials that I have right here in the garden. So it's not like I'm going out and buy something. I am going to buy some more string. I need more string. And uh, so I'm going to purchase more string. Yeah. And of course, this is my garlic. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, these, um, these projects, I wanted to show you all. But I will show you all the, when I make them. Uh, and I have a lot of them. Just some simple things I'm going to do in the garden to help um, the beneficial insects. Yeah, I'm going to help them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's going to be nice. I think it will anyway. But my garlic is doing very well. And here is my fig cuttings. I put these fig cuttings over here because this is where I'm going to plant them. Yeah, a little bit over, but basically this is the side of the garden where the um, the fig trees will be planted. And I have some other cuttings. I just, 
I just stuck in the ground there, you know. Yeah. And then sugar cane and more flowers. Yeah. But um, it's like everything is, well, a lot of things is growing, you know. You can say that. You can see this. But this is uh, my herb garden. And uh, that's garlic. And I have some thyme growing, some um, parsley. Uh, there's some tarragon in there. Uh, what else is growing in here? <laughs> you can't see it, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of herbs is in there. Yeah. And it's doing well. It's doing well, even in this cold. That is, um, maybe I'll go back to it, but it's um, a lemon balm plant. And I think I have about two of them in here. So they doing well. Yeah, they doing well. Yeah, but it's been um, just a dreary, dreary couple of days uh, here, you know. Just uh, absolutely chilly. Now, I've been drinking a lot of coffee and tea, and my uh, nose is just, yeah, y'all know. It just gets stuffy. Um, just being inside, you know, I really love to be outside and just to be um, in this house all day just driving me um really 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 <laughs> that is my cauliflower and cauliflower is doing good <laughs> and that's some parsley i planted in this pot for jody yep this is for jody and this is some carrots over here and some peppermint and spearmint in here yeah it's been growing in there for a couple of years now <laughs> and that's my kohlrabi yes now i like to eat kohlrabi i prefer eating it raw um you know cooked is good but I love to eat kohlrabi a raw with maybe some ranch dressing. Yeah, I love to eat it raw. Even in a salad, it's good. But yeah, just sliced up and eat it by itself. Delish. <laughs> and of course, this is my artichoke plant. Now, this artichoke is really doing well. It's very healthy. It's just doing very well. Now, I was reading on the artichoke, and it says that um, that by the second year, I should get an artichoke. So, hopefully, hopefully, this spring, we'll see an artichoke. And um, there's another one in the front of the garden, uh, in the front of the house. So, uh, I'm going to show you um, the artichoke in, uh, in the front of the house. But this is a little side uh, garden bed with just a lot of barascus in it, you know, and they doing well. And this is the front yard artichoke. Yeah. Once I took it out of that pot with all those ants in it, it just sprung up. <laughs> Well, I guess it was just so happy to get out of there with all of those ants. But it's doing well. And just as the one in the garden, it is very healthy. Very healthy. And of course, that's cute. <laughs> yes, that is cute. She's getting fat. So I was wondering about it because she is getting so fat. And I was thinking maybe I'm just feeding her too much. So I was reading about how long will it take a cat to have babies? Yeah. And he says cats can have babies at four months old, at six, four to six months old, a cat can have babies. I'm like, oh my God. 
But anyway, this is on the side of my bar, uh, butterfly garden. And I found this old log in the yard and I put it there and I just put some compost in it. And yes, I'm going to put some seeds in it. And that is some parsley growing there. Yeah. That's parsley. I think that's a, oh, there's a cabbage in there somewhere, but mostly that's parsley growing. But yep, I'm going to put lots and lots and lots of flowers in this area. Yeah. Mm hmm. And I have a big pot on the side there. I'm going to show it to you in a second. And it's going to be primarily for milkweed. Yeah, I'm going to have about three big pots with nothing but milkweed in it. And this is my little area for the butterflies. And Jada decided to put up some Mardi Gras beads and they just look so cool to me. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring you all and walk around in my garden today. I want to thank you all for stopping by just to spend a little time with me. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, I'm going back inside. <laughs> all right, guys. Later, y'all.